When the sun goes down and the moon comes up, where does your cat sleep? If your home, at least for that night, is not all that appealing to your pet, what does your cat stay during those moonlit hours? In this material I'll talk about sleeping under the stars, and where cats go in an effort to not only remain safe and secure, but to find a bit of peace and comfort. Before you head off to dreamland, I've got a bedtime story of my own. Interesting topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. When it comes to life in the great outdoors, the night time is often the right time for felines. However, how do things play out when it comes to your cat, the family pet? Those times when you've let them outdoors for an afternoon roam, and they've gotten just a bit too curious, and perhaps a bit too stubborn to come home. When the stars are out, where do most cats go? Where do they sleep? It all begins with safety and security. That's at the forefront of any cat's overnight game plan. If coming home is not in the cards for whatever the reason, the first thing a cat will do is seek shelter, shelter from Mother Nature, and of course, shelter from potential predators. Being that cats are both predators and prey, they're constantly on the lookout. Before a cat settles on a spot for the night, they'll scope it out and make sure it's safe. Of course, given the nature of this topic, the family cat, your cat, there's a very good chance that the area your pet selects is not a first-try piece of real estate. They've seen it before, likely slept there before. Your cat probably knows the area inside and out. This is especially true if your cat is a regular to the outdoor life and is quite familiar with the surroundings. There's a bit of comfort in the known landscape. This quite obviously should give you a bit more comfort as well. When it comes to the where of it all, the possibilities are quite numerous. In a typical neighborhood setting, your cat could find some patio property to be quite adequate, yours or perhaps someone else's in the neighborhood. If the area is safe, some cats will just relax right there under the stars, fully exposed, no hiding necessary. Other felines are a bit more guarded in their actions, perhaps choosing to seek shelter in a box, under a car, an abandoned area, bushes, especially bushes that surround a property line, perhaps your property line, other options include trash receptacles and the woods. If you have wooded areas around your home and neighborhood, it wouldn't be out of the question to find your cat walking a familiar trail and napping in the woods at night. Here again, we're not talking about a feral cat. We're talking about your cat. This means that most every location for a given night will have been seen and scouted well in advance. In fact, the overnight sleeping spot could very well be a spot that is used for napping during the day. This is especially true if the spot is a bit hidden and has been deemed safe. It should also be stated that cats rarely stay in one place during an entire night. Cats love to roam, and felines can get an awful lot accomplished during the night. Plus, staying on the move is a good way to guard against potential threats. By never staying in one place too long, cats can protect themselves against both humans and four-legged predators. Another factor that your cat will consider is the weather where you live, the season. So much of their overnight selections will depend on the temperature. Where your cat chooses to sleep during the heart of July will likely be quite different than the napping spot they'd select in the middle of December. Your cat's age can also play a role, not to say that cats run out of curiosity, but older felines, they've seen it all, done it all, and they've got the t-shirt to prove it. They're far more inclined to take it easy, get comfortable, go to sleep, and just enjoy the night. Younger cats, well, their curiosity cup runneth over, and naturally that could be a bit of a problem. For some cats, settling down is just a bit too boring, and like I said earlier, the nighttime is indeed the right time. And what about the adults aren't in the room factor, if you will? Remember in school when the teacher was out and you had a substitute? Yep, that's a free day. Easy to, let's say, take advantage of the situation. If your cat is outdoors during the dead of night, they know that whatever they do, you are not going to be right behind them waiting to scold them. You're not going to be there to voice your concern and displeasure. For young cats, especially, your absence can play a huge role in their decisions. When the parents are away, the kids will play curious cats without supervision. It's easy to see why this could be rather problematic. However, the comfort that you have, and I 
mentioned it earlier, is indeed a familiarity. What your cat will see at night in terms of the layout is the same thing that your pet has seen and likely explored a hundred times during the day. This will work in your cat's favor most of the time. And it's something that you can hang your hat on, especially if you've been calling for your pet and want nothing more for them to come on inside. Personality. Let's not overlook or ignore personality. If your cat is naturally a bit of a contrarian, let's say, doing things their own way just to make a game of life, not coming home just because it's fun to walk to the beat of their own drummer. Well, some cats are like that, and while that's not to say that cats will do things to get under your skin and make you mad, they don't view the world through that lens. Felines do, however, many times live life on their own terms. And if that makes you uncomfortable, then that's just the way it goes sometimes. Cat owners back me up on this one. Being a loving owner can come with a bit of hair pulling from time to time. But here again, and this does deserve repeating, we're talking about your cat and your environment, your neighborhood. Those familiar surroundings. Cat are quite the seasoned professionals. When it comes to looking out for themselves, felines are keen to most anything and everything. And this does bode well for life in general and sleep time under the stars. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, where does your cat sleep at night? On your patio, in the bushes, on your property, under your parked car. If you know for a fact that your cat has a night spot or two, let me know in the comments section below. And better yet, have you constructed a bit of a house for your cat to sleep in during the overnight hours? In fact, let's add that one to the list of the possibilities. Perhaps you've cut a hole in one of those Rubbermaid storage containers and placed it outside. I know I've done that for stray cats during the harsh winter months. Instead of fighting the tide, have you made life easier for your cat during the nighttime hours? Your stories, anything and everything in between, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.